Hello all, it's a sunny afternoon on Bayavul, and today we're going to discuss what I bring into combat, what I put on myself, what I'm equipped with, etc. Uh, in the hopes that you guys see what I'm up to, and maybe you get some ideas of your own. This is how I organize my set, this is how I organize my hotbar, and let's get straight to it. So, for starters, right, I use the Tane, this is my primary weapon. Uh, I keep it in the one slot, because it's the thing I use most commonly. This is the Holstein pistol, it's my secondary. I keep it in my two slot, because I use it commonly, but not as commonly as my one slot. This is my melee. This is my utility slot. This is where, like, knives and uh, axes, shovels, pickaxes, what have you, that's where that all goes. Uh, this is my throwing knife. It goes in five. It's the throwing knife slot. This is my bandage. It heals me. <laughs> As you'd expect. Uh, so let's discuss how to get these six real quick. Tane is a developer exclusive item that they spawn in and give to event winners. These are rare as hell. There's like 14 of them in existence. If you're a new player, I don't recommend even bothering trying to trade for one because they're so uncommon. That being said, they do 95 damage and 114 to the head. They're ridiculously overpowered. Uh, so next up is the Holstein Pistol. This was previously known as the Prussian Cavalry Pistol, and so in a lot of videos I call it a Prussian. Uh, the Prussian Cavalry is acquired uh, at Tier 1 smithing contracts. It's a Tier 1 smithing reward, and so do enough of those and you'll get a lot of these pistols very quickly. Uh, they're harder to get nowadays, but they're still a staple of most veteran players' sets. This is the Stone Hatchet. I used to use the Tomahawk, but right now the Stone Hatchet has a lot more stamina than the uh, Tomahawk does. And don't get me wrong, the Tomahawk is still a meta weapon, it's very, very good. I just, I want more stamina, and that's why I use the Stone Hatchet. And then this is the Kukri, this is my go-to knife. It's unlootable, just like the Superior Knife, but it, it uses a little less stamina, and it skins animals faster. This is the Throwing Knife, these are craftable at expert smithing. Oh, by the way, Kukris are found in treasure chests. Stone hatchets are crafted with this colonist crafting menu you get with C. And then throwing knives are expert smithing. Uh, they do everything regular knives do. They can just be thrown and you can stab with them, but they cannot skin animals. And then bandages are purchased at inns in the town and also crafted from flax leaves. So you take your flax, you make uh, fiber cloth. You take your fiber cloth, you make uh, bandages. And that's how you get bands. Uh, so, with that out of the way, I assume you know what uh, ducats are, that's the premium currency, and then pounds are what you'd expect them to be, that's the in-game currency. So, we'll start with Compass Torch Spyglass, I guess. So, Spyglasses are great for situational awareness. I use a ducat Spyglass, but there's a craftable Spyglass at Master Smithing you can just make over here in... which one is it? That one. In this building here, there's an anvil. You can make it at, I believe, Master Smithing. Uh, it, it's great for situational awareness, it's great for combat, I use it all the time. Uh, spike glasses are awesome. Get one as fast as possible. Uh, this is the compass. I believe it has some new functionality with the new map feature, although I don't know how the maps actually work yet. I have yet to get them, they were added in just last night, so I don't actually have experience with that feature. Uh, that being said, this is a Ducat compass I got from the Ducat store, but there's also a regular compass you can just make at Master Smithing, again, in the Smithing Store at the Anvil. Next up is Torches, right? I said Torches. Yeah, so Torches. New players all spawn with Torches. You light it, you can light the area around you up so you can see better at nighttime and in caves, especially in caves. And you get warmth with the torch out, so that's what it's used for. It's used for warmth and light. And where were we here? Handsaw, Hammer, Shovel. So Handsaw, this is how... Where'd it go? Right. Handsaw... This is how you build uh, these house structures. Uh, you make houses with foundations first, and you build up from there. But this is where you use you use this for house structures, and you can make them at an anvil uh, or easily. Uh, an easier way to get them, you go to that store down there, and you can buy one off of the counter. You go to the woodworking store, and you can just straight up buy a handsaw. It's very very useful. Oh look, an exploiter. <laughs> Where'd he go? What? Oh no, where'd the exploiter go? He disappeared. Oh, no, there he is. There's our exploiter. I guess he's not speed hacking anymore. <laughs> Alright, uh, so now... Yeah, uh, hammer. Sorry, I gotta equip it. Uh, 
hammer. Uh, so this is used in a very similar manner uh, to the handsaw, only instead of building the house items, you build these fortifications. These are called fortifications. And the cool thing, well, actually, it's kind of a lame thing about fortifications, uh, is they actually lose like durability over time. So if you put this in a place, it's going to slowly wear down until it despawns, kind of like rust. Uh, whereas these are permanent. And the only way to make a fortification that's, uh, that's, that's permanent is if you first build a house. So like when you build your foundation pieces, you'll have a little, uh, a little yellow box. And in that little yellow box, you can put down fortifications and these also, these four things, these are, these are more advanced. Uh, you can put down fortifications in the little box and they will be permanent and a part of your house. So keep that in mind. And then these are also craftable at the anvil, uh, or you just go and get one from the woodworking store. And then we've got the shovel. Where's my shovel? I keep doing that. I keep opening this tab menu instead of just using my hotbar. Whoops. <clears throat> Shovels are used on the snow islands. You can walk around a snow island and then you just dig. You can make trenches, you can make foxholes, you can make all sorts of cool stuff on the snow islands, but they obviously don't work without snow. Uh, at least at the moment, there's a chance that these other islands will also have voxel terrain enabled, and then we'll also get, like, digging up dirt and shit, but that's not a thing at the moment, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and then, I don't have it, but there is now a hoe in the game, and you use that for tilling ground, but yeah, I don't have the hoe, because I, I haven't farmed yet, so I don't have it, but that is for tilling ground. Then we've got the kukui. No, I'm sorry, I'm skipping items. Uh, lead ball mold. You use this at a campfire with lead in your inventory. Is that really the animation? Ooh, they gotta fix that. <laughs> the animation is busted for the lead ball mold. Um, but yeah, lead ball mold, you go to a fire with lead in your inventory, and that makes some lead balls. Uh, and we got snowshoes. Snowshoes you equip like that. And snowshoes will actually make you faster on snow, but slower on every other surface. So I am slower on this rock, on this grass, uh, on like stone, on whatever the hell, on sand, on pathways, I am slower than if I had the snowshoes off. But if I was on snow, I'd be faster. So that's how that works. And then, fair warning, there's a little bug. After strapping on snowshoes, you have to hit tab, or else you can't sprint with them on. So just keep that in mind. Press tab once after equipping your snowshoes, so you can sprint with them. And then we've got the kukri. This is my go-to knife. It's kind of a rare treasure knife. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry, I almost forgot. You get the snowshoes and le no, lead ball mold you buy from Rupert Den, and then snowshoes you uh, buy from the woodworking store, or you can make them, same lead ball mold, you can make them eventually. Um, but primarily, lead ball mold you buy from Rupert Den, snowshoes you get from the uh, store that sells them, the woodworking store. And then climbing picks, these are used on any ice walls, and those are only on the ice islands, outside the snow islands. So uh, the same places you can use uh, uh, shovels on. And so you can just walk up to an ice wall and climb it with your climbing picks. Very useful. Fancy lantern. This is just like the regular lantern, only it gives five more warmth. It's also just like the square lantern. Again, five more warmth. Uh, pretty simple stuff. You can get a lantern from uh, Master Smithing. You just go and you make one. Uh, superior Axe. This is an axe that chops wood faster than the regular axe. It takes two less swings. And you get it from the Tier 2 woodworking contracts. So complete woodworking contracts until you're Tier 2. And you can get yourself a Superior Axe. You can claim it. Uh, same with the Superior Pickaxe. This mines ore is slightly faster with uh, 8 swings instead of 10. And then you get this uh, at Tier 2 with the mining contracts. And then lastly, in terms of like utility stuff, you've got the superior fishing rod. And this is just like the other ones, and you get it from tier two at the like cooking fishing contract stuff. So you do cooking fishing up to tier two, and you can get a superior fishing rod. And the cool thing about this is instead of typically taking 38 seconds to get a fish, you only take 30, which isn't that helpful in the long run, but it is kind of neat. Uh, so that's the spear fishing rod. And then we got the sash belt. Uh, this is, we're getting into my clothing items now. 
Sash belts give 15 inventory space in their ducat items. If you can't afford that, you can just go to the leatherworking station or the anvil, one of the two, and you can make a regular belt that also gives 15 space. So you can just make a belt without ducats that gives the same amount of space. Uh, pristine armband, this is another ducat exclusive. Ornamented holster, another ducat exclusive. Although holsters in general give five inventory space, so I recommend making a holster at a leatherworking station if you've got the level. I think it's like Apprentice or Adept. One of the two gives you uh, the ability to make a holster. And then the wreath brooch. This is a Christmas Ducat exclusive brooch. Uh, then munition pouches. These are actually kind of complex. Um, Pre-update, I'd carry anywhere from 8 to 12. Now I carry 4 to 6 just because there's less combat in general for me to partake in because I'm grinding. But uh, essentially with a mutant pouch, if you have loose lead balls in your inventory, you hold F to load them into the mutant pouch, and you hold E to remove them from the mutant pouch, right? Uh, I don't have loose lead, so I can't load anything into this mutant pouch, but that, that's what it does. And with a mutant pouch equipped, you can load a gun. Sorry. You can load a gun uh, two seconds faster than if you didn't have a mutant pouch equipped and you were using loose lead balls. And so that's what that does. And so you, you don't know how fast the Tane is without the Mission Pouch, but this is how fast it is with the Mission Pouch. It, it's slightly faster by two seconds. Uh, and also, lead in the Mission Pouch cannot be looted, whereas lead that's in your inventory, like lead balls, it can be looted. And so that's why Munition Pouches are so sought after. And you can make these at the Leatherworking Station or buy them from any hunting store. And then we've got the large for knapsack. This is one of the first things I recommend new players go for, along with superior knives and uh, snowshoes. Very helpful. It gives you like 80 inventory space. They're crazy, crazy good. Uh, and if you can, at least go for a medium one. Uh, and these are these are made or just purchased. I recommend buying one through the market because they they take a while. It's like master you need master leatherworking to make one. So I recommend buying one through the market or just using a medium for knapsack. Uh, and then we've got the Large Band Layer, which is a Tier 3 hunting contract reward. So once you've got Tier 3 with hunting contracts, you can get yourself a Large Band Layer. Hello, new player. And then we've got... Where were we? Uh, then we've got, like, cosmetic items that I've got here. So Spaniard Hat is a Ducat item. Uh, black Coat with Black Vest is a Halloween Ducat item. Uh, Striped Scarf is a Ducat item. Gorget, Ducat item. For Kilt, this is a pretty early on... Uh, just a kilt you can just make at any leatherworking station. Medium fur cloak is an expert level leatherworking station craft that is made out of a wolf. This gives the same warmth as bear cloaks do, which are the larger ones. Uh, I like them. Uh, they look better, the medium ones. And this is the crocket cap below it. This is another tier 3 leatherworking uh, item. Uh, then below it, we've got the hunter patch, which is a tier 2 bounty board item. So you get tier 2 with the bounty board, and you can get yourself a hunter patch. These are very cool. I love these. And then we've got the black short bandana, which looks basically the same as the regular bandana. You just craft at the leatherworking station. But the black one is from the... Oh, what's his name? Uh, it's from the uh, the German illegal uh, dealer guy who spawns on Rupert. And you can get one of these from him. And these give five more warmth. He's very hard to find, though, so good luck finding that. And then lastly, the honed cape. And this is another tier 3 hunting contract reward. So the honed cape, the large bando, and the crocky cap are all tier 3 uh, hunting contract rewards. And the reason I have these two, when I already have a cloak and a hat, is whenever I'm cold, I equip those and I get a lot more warmth. The crocky cap is great for warmth. It gives you 35 warmth, which is very, very useful. And then uh, I've got my cooked rabbit meat. This is what I eat. I don't bring a lot of food with me, even though I used to before this update, because I, just, I, I reset a lot, and that resets your hunger. And so I, I bring cooked rabbit meat because it's not lootable. Uh, any cooked uh, animal food is not lootable, whereas like apples and stews and such are lootable. So just keep that in mind. Uh, fiber string and stone rocks. I use these because I make hatchets out of them, and that is pretty much my entire set. Thank you all for watching. I hope you took something away from this video. God, that must have been... Oh my god, word vomit. So, good luck to you on the frontier. There is more coming both from Northwind and from me.
and I hope you enjoy yourselves, new players.